Hi everybody, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot and this is going to be a general reading for whoever needs it at this time. Today we're going to be tapping into um, anything that your higher self would like for you to hear at this time. I'm going to go ahead and light the Palo Santo to cleanse the space so it's just us and the message. I'm then going to follow that up by a chakra cleanse of your aura, okay? And we'll go into any abnormalities that might be present um, within the chakra system. And then we'll go ahead and pull some oracle cards and pull some tarot cards and get started, okay? Let's go ahead and light the Palo Santo. Just for awareness, I do have the frequency for the solar plexus chakra, and now this chakra helps with your self-confidence, and I'm sure if you're not aware, it does resonate with the color yellow. And of course, it lives at the solar plexus, which is right here. If you'd like to inhale, and exhale. We cleanse the space so it's just us and the message. Go ahead and do your chakras, crown, crown is good, third, good, throat, good, heart, good, open, throat or heart chakra, solar plexus, good, very good, sacral, very good. Root. Okay, I don't think I've ever had this. At this time, you have no blockages within your chakras, okay? So you may have recently just exercised right within the last hour or so, okay? Maybe you're just fresh off of meditation, uh, but you are in a very good space at this time. I've been doing readings for a long time and I have not ever had a reading where all of the chakras were uh, in full alignment. So kudos to you and I can't wait to hear what this message is going to bring about. So we'll go ahead and start with an archetype card by Kim Kranz. You're getting yourself out of some sort of box that you've been held into. You might even be traveling here with the bridge card, okay? The vow, you're breaking something. You're breaking something and um, you're really feeling, feeling free at this time, okay? There are a plethora of things that this could be. We're going to go into it uh, as we go through the reading, but right now, the vow in reverse could you um, could be you ending a marriage, ending a partnership, ending a job, ending a housing situation, ending a mindset, ending a certain way of living, right? Eating habits, drinking habits, all of those kinds of things. You are breaking out of a cycle that you have been in for a very long time, and that is helping you feel extremely free at this time, feeling feeling free and confident and alive again after a time of feeling as though you are in quite a box, okay? Let's go ahead and pull from the Sacred Destiny. I think you're feeling very relaxed at this time. You're feeling purified, you're feeling happy, you're feeling free, okay? You're feeling like you can kind of take on the world at this time. Courage, something that you did, this, this ending that you have here, 
took a lot of courage, okay? But it's ultimately leading you to so much happiness with the happiness card here, okay? So courage just means that you are really getting to a place in your life where you're no longer going to allow fear to take a hold of you, okay? You're no longer going to allow things in the outside world to intimidate you, things from the outside world to make you feel less than, things from the outside world making you feel as though you do not have control over your system, right? You are in complete control over who you are and where you are going at this time. Very good, very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull from the Sacred Rebel deck. Releasing allegiances on the bottom. You are definitely moving on. sacred fool this is new you are in i wouldn't be surprised if we saw the fool card but sometimes tarot is like well i kind of already showed you the fool so i'm not going to show you again i'm going to cover up the little nipples here for um, youtube's sake but here we have the sacred fool okay and i'm going to go ahead and read this card normally i like to hold it up as i'm reading it but I can't really cover the two, uh, the two nipples while I'm reading. I guess I could try, because I do like holding the card up. Okay. The Sacred Fool is a great rebel able to thwart convention and tell the truth without restraint. Your heart is a wonderful, powerful, sacred fool. It cares not for the right way to do things. It cares not for what the mind says is real and not real. It lives according to an inner wisdom that cannot be dictated to or controlled by anything. It loves, it lives, and it is what it is. The oracle heralds a time, now or imminent, when you feel inspired, alive, and passionate for what you can offer to the world. It says, don't try to be appropriate. Don't try to be socially acceptable and worry about what others may think about what you're doing. Just be. If you want to wear a mad hat whilst doing so, fine. The sacred fool in you is willing to leave behind what has been because it no longer feels right to stay attached to it. The sacred fool in you trusts life completely. It would never occur to this part of you to try and outsmart life or resist its flow. It recognizes that the mind is a monkey puppet on strings. More often than not, it is cajoled into fear when it could be playfully dwelling in the radical spontaneity of life. So, the sacred fool in you urges your mind to let it be itself, to let itself be pulled into joy by your heartstrings, not into fear and doubt by controlling the machines of mass media. This oracle brings you a message. It's time for you to play. It's time for you to let life happen in a completely unreserved, unscripted way the more bizarre, left of field, unexpected, and apparently ridiculous, the better. This might not feel safe or appropriate at first. That's okay. That's good, actually. It's a sign that you are breaking with your own self-imposed conventions. It is time you move beyond them now because a bigger life adventure is calling to you. This is wonderful news. It is the desire of life to operate more radically through you so that you become the conduit through which miracles and crazy, wild synchronicity can occur. You are becoming more electric. You are more plugged into the apparent randomness of life. Apparent because there is a refined intelligence behind it all. The sacred fool goes with this without having to understand any of it. 
which is good, trying to access even one genuine glimpse of life's unfathomable genius would probably make one's head explode. As you take this journey, you may find that people around you are challenged. You might unintentionally cause them to rethink the way they live their lives. They may question whether the way they are living is the only way for them, or even the best way. At first, they may react rather than take responsibility. The sacred fool in you does not engage with this. It is what it is, and it rises and falls as it will. It does not stop you from your merry dance of unconventional being. If you find yourself making choices that have others questioning your sanity, then you are on the right course. You may feel that you are quite responsible, quite possibly going insane, but you are not crazy. You are just approaching enlightened awareness. There is a moment, sometimes a rather long one, when we wake up to life, shed our attachment to mass opinion, and float in a completely different state of being. We might find that no one is really able to understand or connect with us to the point that we question our state of mind. Stay with that, it will pass. You will eventually see that you are becoming sane in an insane world. The tables will turn and you will gain great inner freedom and creative juice. Stay on your path, stay on the journey. Remember to take nothing too seriously and will all work out perfectly. Healing process. Say, I call on the sacred fool of unconditional love. Please help me access your lightness of spirit, your wisdom, and your ability to exist in the heart of truth, to be powerful without becoming attached to or obsessed by power. I honor your vision. May I see and know so truly and be free. I choose of my own free will to give myself absolute permission to just be myself now and always. Through unconditional love, mercy, and compassion, so be it. Once you have repeated the above, imagine that any invisible chains or shackles that have kept, that have held you captive in any way are falling away from you. They might make a clunk as they hit the floor. You might feel freer than ever before. However strong or subtle, your reaction to this is perfect for you at this time. Shake your arms, your legs, and your body. Once you are all shaken out, feel more relaxed and hopefully just a little bit silly in a playful way. You have completed your healing process. Well, <clears throat> you are definitely coming to this reading being very free, okay? I don't think you have felt this free in a long time, and you are feeling absolutely and 100% free, okay? So, congratulations. I don't know you, but I'm proud of you, because being able to free ourselves from things that once held us back, especially conventional ways of being, is a very hard process, and one that not a lot of people get to. A lot of people want to stay in this very pre-programmed conventional way of living, especially because the fear of how others see us and feel about us weighs heavily on us as um, hive mind energies, right? So we are a society that does rely on, not always, right? But the acceptance and the approval of others. So if you have actually been able to break free of the need for approval from other people, good job. Very good job. It does take a lot to get there and it seems like you are there at this time. So let's go up. Mm, Phoenix rising from the ashes. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Butterfly right next to it. These are very transformative energies very transformative. Please give me an energy for this person. Power self. The elephant in reverse. The elephant in reverse. So this is a very large animal. <clears throat> and normally 
upright, they can feel very heavy as they walk. Every step is heavy and it's big and it's impactful and it's responsible for a lot. Every move they make puts an imprint into the soil and you're going to see that imprint for a long time. You're in a place right now where you're no longer needing that kind of power. You're no longer needing the weight of your decisions to be so impactful on everybody else. You are able to say, I don't need the position of authority anymore. I don't need to have that title anymore. I don't need, I don't need the power to have such heavy weight with every decision that I make. I also am releasing this heaviness that I have carried with me for a long time and I'm burning away all that does not serve me and I'm transforming into this butterfly, right? The phoenix rises from the ashes, okay? Even though things that she normally does are burning away, now she is rising from that. The phoenix comes from the ash, okay? You're releasing major heaviness, okay? You have just, just done something recently that has um, significantly changed your entire life, okay? I would like to go ahead and pull from the mushroom tarot to find out what this person has done. Tell me what this person has changed. Eight of Wands, you stopped moving quickly towards something that you thought was gonna bring you fulfillment something that made you feel very defensive, something that you gave a lot to. Ace of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this was um, a potential love situation, okay? This is something that um, you put a lot of work into, okay? You put a lot of work into this with the Seven of Pentacles here, okay? Saturn in Taurus. This is us making the right moves. This is us doing the right thing. This is us really getting our material world where it needs to be, okay? And the Ace of Cups here is describing love, pouring love into something. So something that you poured your heart into um, is changing at this time, okay? It's changing at this time. And you are moving on. You are moving on, okay? Where is this person going? <laughs> the world. <laughs> You're going to be exploring. You're going to be meeting new people. Three of Cups there. You are going to be doing you for a long time. And this is a big change, okay? We see the Hermit and we see the Death card here, okay? Where is this person going? Where is this person going? The three of swords in reverse you are going towards a place that's going to help you overcome any heartbreak or pain related to love that you have been through okay you're on um the beginning of a journey here okay what's the advice for this person at this time don't lose sight of the vision okay Don't, don't feel like it just needs to be you against the world, okay? Make sure your finances are straight. Make sure you're really leaving things behind, especially with the lovers here popping out right after the Six of Swords. The Empress. If you are the feminine, it is imperative that you remember your worth. It's imperative that you stay in your feminine energy and not get sucked into this masculine energy of not trusting, not feeling soft in your heart, and not feeling the beauty that exists within you, okay? Don't let these situations harden you and don't let this journey that you are about to bark, embark on um, make it seem like you against the rest of the world, okay? It's gonna be imperative that you stay soft. If you are the masculine here, 
please remember that not all women are like the women that you have been with or whatever you are into, right? If you're into men, um, there is no gender here. I'm trying to be um, mindful about all sexes and couplings here, but not all women are like the women that you have dealt with, okay? There are soft, loving, affectionate, warm women, okay? Do not forget that, okay? If you can give me more advice for this person here, what is the advice for this person? The advice is Seven of Cups here, Venus and Scorpio. Keep your options open. Keep your options open. Don't put yourself into a hole, okay? You just got yourself out of a situation where you felt very trapped. So at this time, it's going to be imperative that you keep your options open. Keep your heart open to very deep feelings. Don't close your heart off and allow previous pain to affect your ability to feel, okay? It's also going to be really important that you don't desire being in the spotlight at this time, okay? We saw the hermit <clears throat> before, right? Now is a time for you to go within. Now is a time for you to be exploring your inner world, two, 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 two on the clock. Explore your inner world in a way that you have not before. We have the star in reverse, Aquarius in reverse, okay? So Aquarius is normally very gregarious. They're spontaneous. They, spontaneous to a point in the sense that they love being around people and they love talking to so many different people and bouncing ideas off and being innovative, right? There is you know, a certain level of spontaneity and in innovation. But right now, you're being asked to stay a little bit more grounded and don't worry about being in the spotlight. I'm also picking up, don't share everything you're doing with everybody around you. Keep some things to yourself. Not everybody needs to know where you're going and what you're doing, okay? And I know that um, with everything that you've been through, you have had a lot of attention on you, okay? So there's gonna be a period of time moving forward where you're not gonna have as much attention on you and it's gonna be important that you're okay with that. Be the attention for yourself that you want others to give you. Do not rely on the attention of others or the validation of others, okay? because we're moving away from that. We've been doing that for a while. We're no longer gonna be doing that. The next advice is the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles talks about, this is the moon in Taurus, so this in reverse, don't spread yourself too thin, okay? Don't offer things to people that you can't actually um, provide to them, okay? Don't give, don't lend money to anybody right now, okay? It's really important that you keep your resources within yourself and um, yeah, provide for yourself right now. You're really needing to provide for yourself. washing your hands clean of various burdens and if you have anyone that uh, does owe you money it would be good for you to speak to them about that okay clear up anything regarding that for anyone that has anyone that owes them money let's get that taken care of decluttering your home picking up as well changing light bulbs 
Um, if you have bulbs in your house that are giving off a light that doesn't make you feel good, it would be good for you to change the bulbs so they're of a color that feels better for you. There are also bulbs that change color. So if you would like, you can also, I'm picking up getting a fun mood for your kind of inner home world where you can change the color to different rainbow settings. So if you're wanting to work on your root chakra, you can put the red light on and vice versa up the chakra chain. That could be interesting for you, okay? To kind of be meditating, drumming, kind of vibing out to a color that you're looking to work on in terms of your chakra system. Holding people accountable, okay? I think there are times where you don't hold everybody accountable and it would be good for you to hold people to their word and if they don't follow through to um, let them know that they have not followed through. Healthy communication moving forward, okay? We're only engaging in healthy connections. Variety is the spice of life. Healing through worship. What do you, do you worship anything? Money. Sex. Power. What do you, as a person, worship? God. It would also be very good for you at this time, if you do not have one, to have an altar in your home. Adorn it with things that make you feel really good. And each day, give an offering. And the offering can be as simple as a stone that you find outside, a leaf, a flower, a feather, a letter, any kind of offering that you can give to the divine to appreciate them for helping to get you to where you are right now because you have been guided. You have been full body goosebumps, divinely guided to end this situation that you've been in for a while and it's going to be freeing you to get to the next level in your life. I'm hearing you have arrived and congratulations. It's taken you a long time to get here and you're watching this reading at the exact time you're supposed to be reading it. Angels are here. Angels are here helping you. There is no need for you to be afraid. We know that you're not afraid and we can't wait to work with you moving forward. also hearing the name Henry. So we're just going to put that there. Speak to the trees. They have a lot of good things to say to you. Speak to the trees. Go ahead and pull from the mystical moments. Two of Cups in reverse as soon as I open Queen of Wands. I think someone that you were with um, did not turn out to be the person that you thought they were going to be. Or if you were the feminine here, someone did not um, make you feel so good. Your confidence was... Um, confidence was not good in this connection. Three of Swords. Yeah, this connection um, definitely caused a lot of pain for you. It caused a lot of pain for you. We have the Three of Swords right on top of the Three of Swords in reverse. 
but where we're going, where we're going is away from that. Where we're going is away from that. We're moving away from people that are not emotionally, um, we're, we're moving away from people that are not emotionally available. We're moving away from people that are self-centered. We're moving, yes, and we are moving towards the Queen of Wands upright. I saw the Queen of Wands in reverse. We are becoming the Queen of Wands upright. Someone who is extremely confident, someone who knows herself very much, someone who is attractive, okay? Magnetic. Someone who does not question if they're beautiful. They know they're beautiful. What else does your higher self want you to hear at this time? The lovers in reverse. It was not supposed to be. It was not supposed to be. The nine of cups. Where you are going is going to provide actual fulfillment. Where you are going is actually going to provide fulfillment, okay? Don't worry about where you've been. Worry about where you're going. Okay, let's go ahead and pull from Rider Weight. We'll get one card from Rider Weight. What else would you like this person to know? What does your higher self want you to know? Yes. Nope, just one card. We're pulling two. Okay. <laughs> they needed me to show you the three of swords in reverse again. Okay. Two of wands here, right? Mars and Aries. Okay. We are taking steps, big action to move away from heartache. We are not three of, have the three of swords out here twice in reverse on the board. Okay. With it once upright. So you are moving away from heartbreak. I know that it's a very painful process that you're going through, but you're going somewhere brand new and you have a vision and you're putting all of that heartbreak behind you, okay? Big moves here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull one from the field tarot. Last bit of advice. bit of advice from their higher self. You are moving towards a place that is going to be providing you with stability you have not experienced before. Four of Pentacles, Sun in Capricorn. We are going to be someone that is working very hard at building our own foundation and we are not going to stray from that, okay? Nothing can distract you at this time. You're on your path. feeling with the unfurling goddess that we are going to get the root chakra. Let's see. Or the heart. Let's see what we get. I'm guessing the root or the heart. Let's see what we get. The throat. Interesting. Lullaby. Beloved, darling, heart, tenderness, remember, still being soft, okay? She discovered her song as she walked the river's edge. Over and over she sang softly through the timeless valley of letting go. Enfolding herself as she rested, the butterflies came. Change is eternal and imminent. The unforgettable lullabies that soothe play through the sacred waters of life. The harmony of spirit is an omnipresent weaving. Our spirit songs are salve enlivening to our cosmic heart. Okay, that's what I have for you. I wish you luck on your journey. You're making the right moves and you found this reading at the right time. Your angels are confirming that you're on the right path, even though it's been hard, okay? Money blessings to you, it's not easy, but you're doing the right thing. Bye-bye.